So for this look, we're going to use this palette and we're going to use these colors. We're going to use all these lovely colors. Plus, we're going to use this color from Ulta and this is to blend our colors. So first of all, I'm going to do is grab a puffy brush like this and then apply it on your crease. And pretty much this is skin color. So next I'm gonna grab a flat brush like this and we're gonna pick up this color right here. It's a really gorgeous green. And it's like that. And I'm just gonna pack it in my like that in my eyelid like that and if you feel like you need more product go ahead just apply as much as you desire so that's that next color I'm going to pick up is this color right here and let me show you what it looks like and it's that color right there it's a gorgeous it's dark green with sparkles of gold it's really pretty and a little goes a long way and all I'm doing is dabbing on the outer corner to make sure that the most color goes there on the outer corner and then blend inward like that You see that? So I'm doing that is that. And then I'm going back with my blending brush and blend. Like that. And just go back with the um the color that you just picked up, which is this one. I got my hair. Mom baked my hair. Mom baked my hair. Hold on, baby. And if you hear someone in the background, that's my daughter and the TV as well. So we're just, you know, blending our color in like that. Like that. Next, I'm going to flip my um, brush to this side. I'm going to pick up this gorgeous, and I say gorgeous because I am, a, it's just lovely. It's like a chopin color. It's just lovely. It's an, And this one goes on your eyebrow. Eyebrow on the highest part of your eyelid. And just bring it down like that. You see how, what a gorgeous shiny gives you it's just gorgeous color the best way to rent video games first person shooters RPG so like that this is the best way to play all the games next we're gonna grab um, a brush like this and we're gonna pick up this color right here and let me see show you what color is that it's just a Oh my god, I wish I could explain. It has blue undertones with green. It's just a gorgeous color. And I'm going to pick that and I'm going to put it under my waterline. Like that. Here's the first question we'll ask at IncomeAtHome.com. How much money do you need to make each month? And then we're going to pick up the lighter color, which is the green. And we're going to put it in our tear duct and bring it inward to blend with that other color. Like that. Let me zoom in so you guys could see what I'm doing. Like that. So, pretty much that's what it looks like. Then we're going to go back with a blending brush like this and blend the colors together. Make sure there's not a harsh line, but we want it to be able to 
chill the lighter color and then the darker color and then the green and then underneath your waterline you want all the colors to show obviously next I'm gonna grab my wet and wild gel eyeliner and all I'm gonna do is apply my well my gel eyeliner in my um, closest to my I'm gonna push my grab my lid and push it up a little bit and put it on my as close as possible to my um, lashes and you could apply your eyeliner the way you would like I'm just gonna apply it this way because this is the desired um, way I like to do my my eyeliner or my gel eyeliner that's just me and then what I also like to do is bring it in my waterline like that and let me zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing whoa sorry so pretty much it's like that and you could also make sure your uh, hands are clean and pick up your eyelid like this and apply some in the water like upper water line and that's so your when you apply your lashes um you really can't tell when you apply um eyeliner and on, on the top of your waterline hold on mama um it does make your eyelashes look more blend so all i this is all i did and applied some mascara and i'll be right back so i already put some mascara i'm not gonna put um lashes today i just don't feel like um, putting lashes what i'm gonna do is my grab my Kat Von D and I'm just going to apply some on my hand and just a little goes a long way so be careful with that I'm just going to grab a Sephora um, I don't even know what this is I don't it's just a brush like this and I'm just going to dab it in to give my eyes not only does it um, make your eyes look um, highlight it it also it also hold on it also cleans the mess that you would make like if you had any fall off and then I bring it down my center of my nose and you can apply some in your upper lip it all depends on you so let me zoom out so this is the look um i am gonna grab some milani and it's a um face body bronzer and all i'm gonna do is pick it up with the same sephora brush and it's a little and i'm gonna do is apply it right here and all of this does is gives you shine a really nice glow to your face it's like that next what i am gonna do is grab some loose powder and this is revlon's um this is revlon photo ready translucent translucent powder sorry and i'm gonna grab a, a brush like this and then i'm just gonna go like this and you know apply it and this is to set all my foundation this does not apply color to your face whatsoever. This wet and wild um, foundation, and it's in 8568. And this is a really light foundation. It's not full coverage, it's just light. To me, this is light. And then I also, for to contour my face, I use wet and wild bronzer, and this is their new one, and this is in number 740. And it's more like a reddish it's not like a a brownish under the brown tones more to me it's more ready more red you see that so I use that to contour my face as you can see 
And for my eyes, I used this Wet n Wild's palette and I used all of this. For my eyes, I used Wet n Wild's um, gel eyeliner and this is in number 886. I used the new Wet n Wild's um, lipstick and I'm just going to dab it right here and look, it's a beautiful fuchsia NYX um, frosty pink. Looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed it and till next time, take care. Bye.